Hebrew language for anointed is mashak. Now, the word mashak has three meanings. Number one, it means to consecrate, to set something apart. And when you set something apart, that means that you have a purpose for that particular thing. Now, number two is smear, rub with oil to smear. And then number three, it means to paint. When God consecrates someone, when God sets somebody apart, there are three things that God does. Number one is the consecrate itself to set the person apart. Then when you have set the person apart, you empower the person to be able to do that which you want me to do. So number two, empowerment. Then number three is protection. Because if the person is going to do something for you, and you give the person power to do something, at all costs he may have people that will envy him. There are so many attacks here and there. So you give him something to protect him. The beauty of every house, every building, depends on the paint. And when you talk about painting, you are talking about three things. Number one, the paint itself. Number two, the building. And then number three, the painter. Now, if the building is good, but the paint it's not good, it will mar the beauty of the house. Now, if the paint is good, the building is good, but the painter is not good, it will also mar the house because the way he will paint the house, the owner may not even like it. So the painter must be good, the paint must be good, and the building also must be good. The painter is the Holy Spirit. The paint is the anointing, and the building is you and me. It's the Holy Spirit that rub oil on us. You are going to a place and they show you the place and say, you see that tall building, you see that yellow. They use the paint to show you the, the am I right? They, they use the paint. So while you are going, you are only watching and looking out for that particular paint that was mentioned. When you are anointed, it means that you have been painted. Now, it makes you look different. Amen? It makes you look different. If it is the Holy Spirit that is painting you, then I want you to know that the painter is a good painter. And the paint, which is the anointing, is good. You are the building. And the painter is the, uh, the Holy Spirit. And the paint is the anointing. Now, so if I am going to show somebody and I tell the person that building, that tall building with red and white, then you know that that is the house. So wherever you are, the building will not talk. The building will not speak. But the paint will speak. Because it is the paint that shows you the particular building you are looking for. So wherever you are walking, when you are anointed, you are not the one that talks or speaks. But it is the anointing that speaks. So people know you by the anointing. So when the anointing comes upon you, you are able to do that which normally no man can do. And I'm here to prophesy. That by the time this fasting and prayer is over, everything about you shall change.